morning. It's been a while since I've been to the plot, and by God, doesn't it show? Let me spin the camera around and show you a tip that I've uh, now got to deal with. There we go. Look at that. Weeds in every bed. Old veg that I need to dig up and clear out. God, look at it. This middle bed here. I had all my honey boat squash and spaghetti squash. I think I'm going to tackle this bed today, dig it over, get rid of all the weeds, and that's about it. Um, sweet corn have come and gone. They were good this year. That's my um, what a bean tripod bean pole thing that's fallen over in the wind. Under there are some cabbages and down there it's like Vietnam. So yeah, I'm up here to clear, uh, well, I was going to say as clear as much as I can. I'm just up here to do this bed and uh, yeah, I'm going to try knock it into shape just before winter sets in. So let's do that. My God, I've tried to save your sanity and mine by not putting you through a digging video. But I am going to turn the camera around and show you what's been dug. There we go. That's what I've just tackled. It's 98% done. There's a section down here that I haven't touched. So like I said earlier on, this is just my rough dig. I will come back to this in the spring and dig out what new weeds are in this bed at that time. For any newbie gardeners out there, I am not a professional gardener. I got my first plot in 2010 so I've been at this game for 10 years and I've been doing it badly. But like I said, I'm not a professional gardener but I am a lazy gardener and if I can give you one bit of advice, when you get your plot, just do it little bits at a time. Don't get your plot and try and dig over one bed, two bed, three beds and the bottom beds all in one weekend because you will knacker yourself out and you'll probably hate gardening life for the rest of your life. So just um, small bits at a time this is going to be 
it for me today. I have brought the strimmer up and I am going to get strimming, but I don't consider that hard work. I consider this hard work. Anyway, what interesting things have I found whilst digging this bed? Well, a broad bean. I have no idea where this fella's come from. I'm going to leave him there. He's not going to make it through the winter, but he's having a go. And who am I to say no? Dug up a pea shoot. Um, so yeah, there we go. Stepped on some mushrooms. I thought they were magic mushrooms, but they're not. Let's move over here. I forgot about these beetroot, which I am going to dig up in a second. Digging this bed, I did find three baby potatoes. I don't think I've had potatoes in this bed for the last two years, and that's the problem I find with planting potatoes in a bed. You're forever digging them out over the coming years because you always miss a couple. And if you practice crop rotation like you're supposed to, if this is your bean bed next year, then you get potatoes coming up amongst your beans. Anyway, I've resorted to growing mine in tubs and containers at home, which is far more manageable for me. I did a trial run of some late sown onion sets I think I planted them out in July, maybe. And as you can see, they haven't really amounted to anything. It was a little experiment I thought I'd try just to see if I could get them to fatten up by the autumn and winter time. Obviously not. I've got a tribe of parsnips living here, as you can see. I don't think they're gonna be any good though. The tops haven't really developed and I'm not hopeful for them when I do the parsnip reveal um, once the frosts have got onto these bad boys and sweetened them up. These are the sweet peas I had this year. They put on a magnificent display. They've all died back now. But if I show you the surface of the soil, I think you can see some of them falling out their seed casing. And there you are, they're starting to sprout. Very late in the season, fellas. I don't think you're gonna make it. I've seen a few vegetables that I need to pick before the end of the season. I'll get to that and then I need to string the hell out of this plot. That's a pretty good harvest for this time of year. Got myself a zucchini, cabbage, and a pretty big beefy beetroot. So yeah, thumbs up for an autumn harvest. Just taking shelter out of the wind, it's a pretty blowy day today. Anyway, as for this video, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah. Fairly successful day as far as I'm concerned. That bed has been dug and I got a few veggies from the plot. All I need to do now is fire up the strimmer and yeah, get strimming, I guess. Anyway, thank you for joining me. If you have, remember to hit that like button, share, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, as it's free. And most importantly, please do comment down below. And until the next video, bye for now.